Good morning everybody or good evening or good night or whatever time you're watching this video I am back with another video where I am going to be reading my subscribers deepest darkest secrets now we already have like three parts to this this is part four if you haven't watched the other parts link will be in the description box below go check them out because they're crazy when I tell you I needed holy water after each one of those videos Oh my goodness. After reading a lot of my subscribers deepest secrets, I have realized I have been living a very boring life. I have no such secrets. My secret would be I accidentally killed my brother's turtle. That's my deepest secret. Anyways, today since I'm back with part 4, I asked y'all on Instagram what are your deepest darkest secrets and y'all went crazy with the replies. So you know what? Let's get started. I'm already excited. I get so excited reading all of these because they're just so crazy. They're so entertaining. Y'all love it. I love it. And you know what? Let's get nosy. Let's judge only for the purpose of this video. Once again, I just want to mention all of the judgments that I pass in this video is just for the purpose of this video and for entertainment purposes. I'm not judging you as a person. I simply do not care what you do with your life, but it is interesting. Okay, let's get started. Once my snake friend had a breakup because of me and she doesn't know I told her ex about her new guy. Well, I have no words for this. Me and my boyfriend make out in our house when my mom and dad aren't home and I'm brown. Well, congratulations, you're having fun. Don't get caught. Be on the safe side. Don't make out at home. That's just hella dangerous. I want my best friend to propose me. I have a fear that if I propose, he will reject me. I love him. Personally, I believe that girls should just never propose. I know that we're in the modern day, but some things just should be done the traditional way. And I will die in my deathbed single, but I would never propose to a guy. I still love my ex. Well, that's something a lot of girls could relate to. Not me but a lot of girls could. I ate my pe- I ate my period blood. Child, I have no idea to what extent of starvation you are going through or how hard COVID hit you or is it a side effect of the COVID vaccine, but let me tell you, no. My boyfriend wants to kiss my private part and that's why I'm breaking up with him. Maybe you should talk to him first, tell him that you're not comfortable and if he still wants to do it, you made the right decision, you made the right call, break up with him, period. I tied Rocky to a guy three years ago who is now my boyfriend and he is 10 years older than me. I just find it really weird. Like, okay, let's ignore the Rocky part, right? But I just find it extremely weird when a person is like, like 10 years older, like that means when you were 10 years old, he was 20 and you're probably 20 now and he's 30, but like that sounds a little normal. I mean, it's not normal to me because every time like, there's like a huge age gap. I always compare like, okay, if I was 11, you were 17, like that doesn't sound normal. Like, no, I don't even want to talk to you. I, just, I don't know. It's just weird to me. I happened to open my brother's chat with his girlfriend and I accidentally saw her nudes and videos. That's why you should stop being nosy. You should just leave people's private stuff alone because would you like it if someone did that to you? I have stolen my friend's pen when I was in sixth grade because we had the same pen and she doesn't know it still. Well, it's in the past and you were young, so it's okay, it's not a crime. I spent time with my crush, hearing him telling his crush and love stories and he just still... What is wrong with me today? But I understand, that is just extremely, extremely sad. I hope I never get to be in a situation like that. First of all, I would never put myself in a situation like that. Second of all, I, God forbid, I just hope that it just accidentally does not happen because that is just heartbreaking. I have act having with my friend when I was just 11. At least you didn't actually do it. I mean like you were 11, like what do you know about Like you are a child, learn geometry. Hook up with a guy and he left me after having Now I'm dating three boys at a time. You got a problem instead of finding one solution, you found three. But here's the thing, that is not a solution. That is one problem to another, it's the same as after breaking up, you find a rebound and then you fall in love with the rebound and in order to get rid of that rebound, you get into another relationship and it turns into a freaking cycle. I don't know, your choice, your call, I just hope you're happy. I have had two boyfriends and my parents don't know about them. 
I have, oh, okay, I understand. Okay, until I got to the I have brown parents part, I was like, I mean, it's normal. I understand you, girl. Dating three guys at the moment, and I'm gonna marry someone else. Girl, girl, you are 10 out of 10. But of course, I don't condone such stuff, but that's crazy. Uh, my secret is I attempted at 17 when I got fear of being badnam, but I'm alive. Honestly, I believe you should be a badnam. By the way, for people who don't know what badnam means, it's basically like, um, can someone please explain what it means in the comment section down below because I don't really know how to exactly explain it, but I understand the word. Like a ruined reputation, badnam, like, a, like the bad child in the family, like a, next. I was dating a guy just to get close to his best friend because I had a crush on him. I feel so freaking bad for the guy like that is so mean what if that guy was on his last straw what if that guy was not willing to live and you were that one thing keeping him alive and you're there trying to get close to his best friend oh my goodness that is so sad i wish no one ever did that to me i saw the watchman take drugs keep your mouth shut you didn't see anything and that's it i cleaned the toilet with my boyfriend or best friend toothbrush because i knew he was cheating on me boyfriend it is then we broke up. You should have done something much worse, girl. This is not it. This is what you do to siblings. You should have done something way worse. Like set his clothes on fire or set his house on fire. I had s with my boyfriend's best friend because I knew he was cheating on me. Now that is one way to take revenge. But in my personal opinion, if you only did that to take revenge, I mean, if it made you feel better, so be it. But I just feel like... That's not something I would do. Why would I like increase the body count just to take revenge? But like if it makes you happy, so be it. I once shaved my sister's hair when she was sleeping and she has no idea. How does one person not know when their hair is like head is shaved off? Like, okay, maybe it's like a small piece I'm assuming, but like, okay, leave that. Why would you even do that? Talk to my sir as my mother to try to cover up for not submitting any of my assignments. I have no idea how y'all got the courage to do that. Even if I could pull something off like that, I would just never do it because I got the fear of like getting caught. And the thing is, I cannot get caught with doing something bad because I feel so embarrassed and I could never talk to that person ever again. So I don't put myself in situations like that. Y'all have some guts. I have stolen my teacher's phone and the phone is still with me right now. Well, first of all, I hope it's a teacher who has a really bad personality who's like a complete biatch but if the teacher is innocent and a nice teacher and if you did that you are a really bad person I saw my dogs having sex well you know what that is fine have y'all seen the other parts of my reading my subscribers deepest darker secrets they be having sex with the most randomest people cousins uncles grandfathers I'm not even kidding literally their own grandfather like I'd rather watch dogs having sex and then read those deepest darkest secrets once i have broke my mom's bangle set and blamed it on my brother and my mom scolded my brother well i mean since you're all the siblings that's totally fine i've done so many of those things i kissed my cousin here we go again i kissed my cousin and we almost had sex ah oh, why do y'all get with your cousins like i don't understand that is just personally that is so disgusting your cousin is like your brother I have a question, how can we know if a boy truly loves me or not? Girl, if I knew the answer, I wouldn't have so many failed relationships. I first drank alcohol when I was 11. Damn, that's really early, like 21? There are like 10 years left for you, but okay. I can't have with my boyfriend every time we're on bed. I'm not ready for it, but he doesn't know. Communicate, that's what communication is for. You talk to the person, you let that person know you are not comfortable with certain things and you don't do it. Okay, so that's about it. Like part four was a little calm it wasn't as crazy as part one two and three i don't know how part five is gonna be so stay tuned for that that's about it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed reading these with me and judging with me i know a lot of us feel extremely innocent after watching this video every time i edit a video like this i'm always like oh my goodness People have crazy lives. So anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section down below what are your judgments? What do you think about all of these? I just feel like part four is way better than all of the other ones that I did. It's a little less crazy, but you know what? We have more to go. So yeah, anyways, that's it for this video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.